what's up everybody welcome or welcome back to our channel my name is alicia and it's so great to have you guys with me today so y'all today as you can see i'm in the kitchen um it's been a pretty chill day today but um it's time to cook so let's get into it so today i'm going to be cooking some stuffed shells um i was going to do chicken enchiladas but um Tim is at the store getting the chicken and everything and I want to cook now because I'm hungry now and I want to have stuff ready or you know at least in, in the oven by the time he gets home so that he can eat because he said he didn't eat today either so I don't want to have to wait on chicken and all that kind of stuff so I'm about to cook some stuffed shells and then I'll cook en chicken enchiladas next time or something like that anyway so let's get into these ingredients and what you need to have in order to make these stuffed shells all right, so you're going to need some kind of shell that you want to stuff. I like to use these because they're easier to stuff and they're easier to put in our container that we use to cook it. Um, it calls for jumbo shells, but I like to use those instead. Then you're going to need some mozzarella cheese. Then you're going to need some Parmesan, one egg. You're going to need some parsley, um, oregano, you need marinara sauce, but um, Tim accidentally used the marinara sauce in our lasagna instead of this. Um, so I'm just going to use this, pasta sauce. Um, it should still taste good. It might even taste better since it's Parmesan Romano. Um, and so, yeah, we have, you need um, three cups of this. And so this jar is a 24 ounce with just three cups. So, yeah. Then you need some ricotta cheese. Mince the garlic. We put it in a bag so it doesn't stink up our refrigerator. Okay, mama. You need some sour cream, um, salt, and then some, uh, you need half an onion chopped, but I don't like onions like that, so I did a fourth of an onion chopped up. Um, and so that's that. I'm also gonna put some meat in it. We're gonna do some ground turkey, um, just because I don't want just um you know sauce and cheese um stuffed shells i want some meat in my stuffed shells so i'm gonna put some ground turkey in there as well all right we're gonna start by preheating our oven to 375 all righty all right then i got a bowl a uh, pot of water here and we're going to go ahead and boil our noodles uh, i'm gonna sprinkle some salt I'm gonna sprinkle some salt up in here generously so that the water can boil faster and so that our pasta can have some flavor on it okay um, so yeah that's gonna come to a boil as soon as I turn this fire on and then um, we'll put our pasta in there once it starts boiling. Okay. All right, so in this pot, we're gonna do the sauce for the top of the shells. Um, and then we'll do the stuffing, the cheese and stuff, stuffing for the shells. All right, so we're gonna do medium heat. And we're gonna do a tablespoon of oil. I'm just gonna eyeball it. But you want to do a tablespoon of oil if you're a person to follow measurements exactly. It's a tablespoon of oil. All of our food is delicious, so do what she said. All right, so we're going to put our onions. Thank you. 
Okay, y'all, so y'all see I made the filling and everything. So now I'm about to do this little hack. Um, whenever you don't have like a piping tool, like a um, like a piping bag to do icing, to do stuffed shells or anything like that, you can get you a um, gallon size Ziploc bag, put your stuffing in it, cut the corner, and then that way you can pipe the filling into the shells um or into whatever you're trying to pipe and all that kind of stuff so that's what i'm about to do now let's do it <laughs> okay so i had my shells and some cold water And that's so that they stop cooking, you know, after they're done, so they're not too soft. All right, so I'm going to grab the casserole dish that we have with the sauce at the bottom, because um, we're gonna pipe them and then put them straight into the casserole dish. Last time I did this, Tim was helping me, so hopefully I can do this by myself. <laughs> See, already messing up, y'all. It's okay if your shells crack or break, you know. They're still edible. Just try to get it as full as you can. No pressure. And then you just lay it on the sauce. I didn't put meat in them. I just had the cheese filling. sauce on top of them and then I'm going to put some cheese on top then stack a few more because I still have a few more and then put some more cheese and then put it in the oven now we're going to stack some more all right so this is what we have I added a little bit of Mexican cheese to it um, so now we're just going to put this in the oven All right, so now we're gonna let that bake for 30 minutes. Then um, we're gonna broil it for like two minutes. Um, the recipe that I have says to cover it with aluminum foil, um, but my pan was like too high and I don't want any of my cheese to get on that aluminum because I want it to come out pretty. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, just put it straight in there and then keep an eye on it and then broil it after. All right, y'all, so my timer just went off and it looks like it is bubbling. So the recipe says you want it to be like the sauce bubbling up on the sides. So let me show you guys. So I don't know if y'all can see like the sauce bubbling up. Um, and I don't want to burn it, of course. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and make sure that it doesn't burn. All right. 